you know, in, just in my interactions with buyers and sellers right now, I'm really not coming across as many people underwater in their mortgages. So for several years in there, I had so many consultations where we decided, you know what, if you can't, if you don't have to sell, don't do it because you're going to be bringing ten, twenty thousand dollars to the closing table just to to make it. And right now, that's that's really not happening. Uh, I think there's a few, you know, but it's not nearly the percentage that it was. So that's encouraging. Um, on a national level. Um, what I'm seeing is that we're still about 11% be behind the peak, so our prices haven't come up. And as you know, Montrose is about two years behind the nation and behind Denver. So I think, you know, as, as Lynn was pointing out, we are behind the 2008, 2007, six prices, but we're getting closer. Um, let's see. Interest rates and loans, that's another thing that comes up. I have people asking me all the time, is you know, are, is anybody getting loans anymore? The answer is absolutely. As long as you have a decent job and you have decent credit, I still have buyers all the time who are getting 100% financing. They're not putting any money down. Um, the 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 difference is everyone is going through a rigorous process to actually get to closing. So, you know, every day the lender's asking for a new new paperwork. The day of closing, they're calling the employer, making sure that they're employed. Um, even after closing, it, it's, so it's definitely gotten stricter, um, but people are still getting loans. Um, interest rates have been about 4%, 4.5% all year. We really thought they were gonna shoot up. We kept hearing they were gonna shoot up, but they've, they've hung tight. I really don't foresee them staying where they're at forever. You can't really, it just changes that are happening at the federal level. I don't see them staying, but um, it's helping our situation when it comes to buying and selling. So um, property appraisals right now, I, I can only gauge on what I've experienced. So um, I think with about 50 something sales so far that I've, I've been a part of, I have only had one of those have an issue with an appraisal. And and I knew it going into it. You know, this thing should have been priced at 350 and it was at 410. So I knew I knew we were gonna have a trouble. Um, but the rest of them, you know, somehow I, I think the sellers are getting a little more realistic about their prices. And so they realize, okay, for a buyer to get a loan, they're it's gonna have to appraise. It needs to stay pretty close. So I'm not really seeing too many deals fall apart because of issues with the appraisal. This is not readable, so let me tell you about it. Um, this comes from, uh, this is just stats on what, what we're seeing at the Montrose Association of Realtors. So in the third quarter, we had 265 new homes come on the market. That's a lot, but last year we had 285. So we have less inventory that came on the market in the last quarter than we did last year. Also, total, total homes on the market right now, as of the third quarter, are 462,000. Oh, sorry, 462 homes. We were just about to have a heart attack. Um, so last year, that number was 487. So that tells me we've got less people putting their houses on the market. Some of it is third quarter, people start thinking, I'm flying south, I'm going to Arizona, I'm taking my house off the market. Um, you know, the market's not good in the winter, I'm taking it off. So that's some of it. But, um, you know, I kind of like having less inventory because it does help our prices come up. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is the percentage of list price received. So this year, the percentage that sellers are getting on their houses is 95.9%. So about, they're having to come down there on their price about 4%. Last year, they only had to come down on their price 3%. So that tells me, I think there is a little bit of a encouragement in the market that, that sellers are feeling like they can price their houses higher. Um, where, as we saw, our prices are, are barely up from last year. They haven't shot up. So if you price your house high enough, you're going to end up having to come down a bigger percentage. So that's what we're seeing there.